Good morning, dear teachers and my dear students. Today, I'm going to present a new lesson in geography, the second lesson, the physical features of India or physiographical divisions of India. In this lesson, I'm going to present about 22 multiple choice questions with answers. I suggest you to listen to the entire presentation and actively involve in answering all the questions. And finally, you just make note how many questions out of these 22 you are able to answer. That shows your preparedness for the coming annual examination. Dear students, from this lesson, definitely you will have one or two multiple choice in the annual examination. Definitely this presentation will help you. You make use of this, you subscribe this YouTube, uh, channel and you pass it to other students, let them make use of it. I hope you do the same. I wish you all the best. Welcome to the second lesson in geography. Welcome to the second lesson in geography. Indian physiography. In this chapter, I am going to conduct a quiz for you. And also, I show you the answer at the end. Let us see. Answer will be shown after every question so that you can know your performance. The first question is before you, dear students. Himalayas extend from Indus Gorge in the west to... So, you need to choose the correct answer. There are four options before you. River Hooghly Basin, River Kosi Valley, River Ganga, River Brahmaputra Gorge. Which is the correct answer you will have to choose? Already many of you have chosen. The correct answer is Brahmaputra Gorge. Dear students, this Himalaya extends almost to 2,400 kilometers in length. It starts in the northwestern part of India, that is from Indus Valley or Indus Gorge, and continuously, you know, it goes up to Brahmaputra Gorge. So I hope you keep this in mind and I'll go to the second MCQ. Yes, second MCQ is here. The highest peak in the world is the most important and easiest question. Every one of you have answered it. I know the answer is Mount Everest. Its height is 8,848 meters. So dear students, you will have to keep this in mind. MCQ number three, the greater Himalayas are also called, dear students, the greater Himalaya is locally called, yes, you are correct, the answer is Himadri. Now, I'll take you to the fourth multiple choice. Let us see. The height of Mount Godwin Austin is, dear students, we have many number of peaks in Himadri and each peak has its own height and we have already learned Mount Everest has 8,848 meters height. But what is the height of Mount Godwin Austin or Mount K2? Let us see the correct answer. Congratulations to all those who have answered. Yes, option D is the correct answer. 8,611 meters is the height of Mount K2 or Godwin Austin. Yes, students, this is the highest peak in India and the second highest peak in the world. Now I take you to the fifth multiple choice. Makulu, Dhawalagiri and Manasulu peaks are found in. Dear students, you have four options before you. Sivalex, Himachal, Himadri, Trans Himalaya. Which is the correct answer? You are all correct. Intelligent students prepared well. The correct answer is Himadri. That is greater Himalaya. Now, MCQ question number six. Burzil, Lozila, Shipkila. These are the, these are dash. That means these are what? You need to choose. Yeah, either they are peaks or rivers, plains, passes. Which is that? Yes, dear students. These Shipkila, Shipkila, Lozila, Burzil are mountain passes. So the correct answer is passes. Dear students. Shiplila, Burzil, Georgila, 
right? All these are the mountain passes which provide good transportation from one area to the other area in this hilly region. They also attract many tourists across the world for its scenic beauty, right? I hope you have got it. There are many mountain passes. Among them, Burzil, Lozila, Jojila, all these are important mountain passes. Now, MCQ question number seven before you. Mount Godwin Austin is located in the range of, yes, dear students, Godwin Austin is located in the northern part of Himalaya and that is Karakoram range. The correct answer is Karakoram. Congratulations to all those who are answering correctly. Next question, MCQ question number eight before you. Shimla, Rani Ket, Mussori, Nainital and Darjeeling are. So what they are, whether they are peaks or hill stations, plains or passes, which one is? Dear students, everyone knows this. People go to these places, particularly in summer season, right? They are all hill stations. Okay, now before you, there is MCQ question number nine. The largest physical division of India is? The options are four, Gangetic Plain, Coastal Plain, Plateau of Peninsula, Himalayas. Which is the largest physical division with respect to the area? Dear students, the correct answer is Plateau of Peninsula. Keep this in mind, it stretches to about 16 lakh square kilometer, dear students. So this you keep in mind, the largest physical feature in India is Plateau of Peninsula. It is the oldest and it is the largest and it, it was formed many millions of years ago. Okay, keep this in mind. MCQ question number 10. The hill station on the Aravalis is... Dear students, Aravali is in the northwestern part of India, that is Rajasthan. Here, there is a hill station. What is that? Mount Gurushika, Mount Ketu, Mount Abu, Mount Manaslu. So let us see the correct answer. You have answered it correctly. It's Mount Abu. Correct answer is Mount Abu. MCQ question number 11. Borgat, Talgat, Palgat are what they are, whether they are peaks or passes dunes or peaks let us see so they are dear students passes in sahyadri passes in western ghat okay now let us see mcq question number 12 chilkan pulikat lakes Pul chilkan pulikat are dash what they are they are let us see you know very well they are salt water lake chilka and pulikat are salt water lakes uh, Pulikot and Chilka, they are in the eastern coastal region, naturally formed a very vast area covered with seawater. Dear students, now let us see the mountains lying to the northwest of Himadri are called. So the correct answer is before you. Yes, you are finding it. Dear students, the options are before you. Trans Himalayas, Aravalis, Purvanchal, Himachal. So the correct answer is Trans Himalaya. Here only you have Karakoram range and there we have India's highest peak K2 or Mount Garvin Austin which has 8,611 meters height. MCQ question number 14. Pir Panjal, Daudar, Nagatibba, Dimusori are found in. Where they are found? Yes, you are correct. All of you, they are all the peaks of Lesser Himalaya. MCQ question number 15, flat bottom structured valleys on the slopes of mountain are known as, yes, dear students, options are four before you, lagoons, dunes, deltas, cape. So the correct answer is, dear students, dunes, flat bottom structured valley on the slopes of mountains are called dunes. Dehradun is the best example. Now, MCQ question number 16 is before you. The northern Great Plain is formed by the deposition work of three river systems. That means northern Great Plain is formed by three rivers. Which are those? I have jumbled the options. First one, whether it is Sutlej, Kosi or Brahmaputra, whether it is Damodar, Ganga or Brahmaputra, or Narmada, Ganga, Kosi, 
or Satlej Ganga Brahmaputra. Which is the correct one? Dear students, you have answered correctly. Option D is the correct answer. Satlej, Ganga and the Brahmaputra. Uh, you know, that is the correct answer because of the depositional work. Because these rivers have brought the alluvium from the high mountains and laid on the plains, this Gangetic plain has been formed. Your students, MCQ question 17 before you. It is easy to conduct good network of transport in the northern India as it is helped by. How, how it is helped? See, I, the question is very simple. It is very easy to conduct, conduct, you know, construct railways and roadways in this physical feature. Then what actually supports in the construction of, uh, you know, roadways and railways are to have good transport. The options are vast land, fertile alluvial soil, huge population, level land. Which is the correct one? You are very correct. You are you you have you have been awarded with a point also. Our marks, dear students, level land is the correct answer because of the flat or level land. Railways and roadways are easily made, and it helps to have good network of transport. MCQ question number 18, the highest peak on the Aravali range is, it is, yes, you are correct, dear students, Mount Gurushika. Dear students, keep this in mind. Highest peak is Gurushika and Mount Abu is a hill station here in the Aravalis. MCQ question number 19, the continuous range running parallel to the west coast of India. Keep this in mind, west coast. West coast means from Gujarat to Kanyakumari. So, from almost Tapi Valley to Kanyakumari is. So, what do you call that? You are all very much correct. The range is called Western Guard. Dear students, MCQ question 20 before you. The highest peak in South India. Very important, dear students. And you need to give more importance to such question. The highest peak is asked. Options are Anamudi, Annamalai, Aravalis. Armakonda, which is the one, dear students, you know that Armakonda is in the eastern part. Aravali is in the northwestern part. Annamalai is in Anayamudi. Anayamudi is the range in uh, Tamil Nadu. So the correct answer is Annamalai, the, 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 the highest peak in South India is Anamudi in the Annamalai range. Anamalai is a range. Anamudi is a highest peak in that. Now, MCQ question number 21 before you. The physical feature, this physical feature lies to the north river, north of river Krishna. Dear students, river Krishna flows to Bay of Bengal and it creates northern part and southern part. Right? Southern part, you know very well. Uh, what is that? I'll give you a clue later. Then what do you call the northern part? Dear students, the correct answer is Northern Sarkar. The southern part is called Koramandal. Northern part is called Northern Sarkar. So River Krishna divides the physical eastern physical feature into two parts. South Koramandal and the north Northern Sarkar. Dear students, and the last MCQ of this lesson, Karnataka coast extends from Goa to, you need to choose one of the options, Bhatkala, Gokarna, Mangaluru, Karvara. The correct option here it is Mangaluru. Dear students, so far I presented about 22 multiple choice in the second lesson in geography. I hope you listen to all the lessons of mine. Every day I post one or two lessons to your WhatsApp group. Your teachers will forward it to you. Make use of them. Learn well. Prepare well. I am very much sure you will score 40 out of 40 in this multiple choice examination in the upcoming you know, annual examination. Right? I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best, dear students. Thank you.